will be making a rain barrel. Rain barrels collect and store rainwater for use in your garden. They benefit the environment by reducing the amount of rainwater that washes harmful pollutants and trash into the watershed. To start, you'll need a 50 gallon plastic barrel and FlexFit diverter kit. To clean your barrel, you'll need a large bucket, distilled white vinegar, a sponge, adhesive remover, sandpaper or sanding block, razor scraper, and plastic tarp. To prepare your barrel, you'll need a measuring tape, permanent marker, and drill with hole saw attachment. To paint your barrel, you will also need a high build primer such as this one and painting materials. We recommend wearing protective equipment such as plastic gloves, a face mask, and eye protection. When you are ready to get started, lay down a plastic tarp as your working area. The tarp will collect plastics from the installation so they do not enter the environment. Your repurposed barrel will likely be sticky, so it needs to be cleaned. Unscrew the cap on the top of the barrel and fill it about a quarter of the way with water and one to two cups of vinegar. Swish the vinegar and water mixture around to clean inside of the barrel. When finished, dispose of the water properly and replace the caps. To remove the label, apply adhesive remover and carefully scrape the area. Gently rub the sanding block all over the barrel. Sanding the barrel prepares the surface of the barrel for painting. When finished sanding, fill the large bucket with a water and vinegar solution. Using a sponge, wash the outside of the barrel with the solution, then rinse with water and wipe down to dry. After sanding and rinsing, if you have a clear barrel, you should paint it a dark color because as it sits in the sun, algae can grow inside. You can either add paint tint to your high build primer and paint two coats, or you can do two coats of white primer, then two coats of a color of your choice. Next, we need to decide where to put the rain barrel on the property. Some of the considerations are which downspout gets the most rain. If you look at your roof and figure out which downspout drains the most square footage, that might be the uh, downspout you choose to use because it's going to provide more water. Once you've chosen the downspout, then we need to decide at which location relative to the downspout you want to put the barrel. So here we have a situation where we have possibly you want the uh, barrel here, pros and cons of that. In our case here, this is very shaded on this side. If we wanted to come to this side where I'm standing with the barrel, then we have more uh, sunlight, which uh, over time may degrade the paint. But aesthetically, I have a bush uh, behind me, a rose bush, which could eventually block it and might make it more uh, appealing to not see the rain barrel at all. So we've decided to use this downspout because it has the most rain and now we need to uh, consider where the uh, uh, cinder blocks are going to go. We have uh, two cinder blocks which are going to elevate the barrel. By doing so we can put the uh, faucet lower which gives us more water pressure because it extends all the way to the bottom. All right, so we've chosen our site. We've decided to put the barrel on this side of the house and we took the cinder blocks and we have placed the cinder blocks. So some considerations here. You don't necessarily need cinder blocks. We chose cinder blocks because it elevates the barrel. It's easier to get to the spigot at the bottom to either to attach the hose or any other container that you might want to put on the spigot. But a lot of people have had good success with just putting them at ground level in their driveway or whatever. All right, so we're here again make the point that the cinder blocks are down that we took the time to level them and stabilize them so they're not rocky. Don't forget that a barrel with 50 gallons of water is going to weigh over 400 pounds. So this thing needs to be stable. Now, in order to put the, uh, the fittings on properly, where you do have instructions in your instruction set. So be sure to look at those. Well, we're going to come down from the top three inches 
and make a mark. Likewise, wherever you want to go along the bottom circumference, you can put a mark up three inches as well, wherever it suits you to uh, get the water out. In this case though, the top is more important, right? We need to be close to the downspout. So in this case, I'm gonna take my tape measure and I'm gonna mark down three inches and then I'm gonna go one, two. Action here is okay. I don't mind the fact that I'm gonna work right out here. There's plenty of access, right? So I'm gonna go one, two. So that's where I'm, we're gonna later drill our, our uh, fittings. We will then go and try to be virtually level, virtually level from the X, and we're gonna put a mark into the downspout and so we can slide that fitting in there. And then this will come over right there. Size the correct hole saw based on the diameter of the black flange. Lay the barrel down horizontally and carefully drill two holes where you marked before. One for the spigot at the bottom of the barrel and one for the input hose toward the top. For the spigot, insert the black flange to the bottom hole. If needed, you can use a screwdriver to assist in seating it correctly. Screw the spigot into the threads on the black flange until tight, with the valve handle facing up and the spigot facing down. For the input hose, insert black flange to top hole. The hose will be attached after the barrel is in position. Place the barrel back into position. Insert hose into upper hole and extend. To complete installation, drill a hole in the downspout and connect to the hose. We are not showing this step. Carefully roll up the plastic tarp. The tarp is covered with microplastics from drilling and sanding the barrel. Disposing of it properly will ensure these plastics do not enter the environment. Your barrel is now ready. When enough water has collected, you can either connect a hose to the spigot or fill a watering can to water your garden. Remember, because this water was in contact with the roof, it is not safe for people or pets to consume, and it is recommended to avoid watering vegetables and other edible plants. Thank you for choosing to protect the watershed. For information on more ways you can help the environment, and for upcoming events, visit our website, easternriconservation.org. Please share a picture of your completed rain barrel and tag us on social media.